Hey everyone, this is Tammy from Housewares. I thought that I would just do a quick little video about um, pan pastels and the jelly plate. And these are some papers that I did yesterday. I am just absolutely thrilled with these. And I learned this technique through Birgit Koopsen. I, I think that's how you pronounce her name. But I wanted to use one of my stencils and of course the colors that I had. And you can see on my jelly plate, well, there's my pan pastels, and then I use this uh, sponge thing that comes with the pan pastels. I have my paper to rub my brayer off of or clean it off. Uh, white paint, although you could use any color really. And then you can see the stencil here that I have that um, is available in my shop. I just wanted to do some flowers. You can see on the jelly plate that I have some um, leftover pan pastel from previous uh, printings. And I don't really care about that. I know Birgit cleans her um, plate off, but I don't bother. So what I'm doing is just taking a bunch of different colors of green and using a real generous amount of pan pastel. Not a whole lot that you have all this uh, pan pastel powder all over it, but you can see that I'm really being generous with the color. I want it to be really saturated. And I'll show you a mistake that I made. And sometimes, you know, that's how we learn best is seeing other people's mistakes, which I make a lot of, don't get me wrong, but uh, just wanted to show you what does not work. So here I'm just, you know, using a variety of colors. And really sometimes when you do um, use pan pastels or paints or colored pencils or colored pens, markers, things like that, oftentimes we're not really happy with, uh, you know, the, the look of what we have. And part of the problem is that when you use one color, you just don't have dimension. It's just too flat. So always be thinking about adding another color to what you're doing. Uh, when you think in real life, nothing is ever, ever, ever just one color. Even if you have, say, a piece of opaque, say, Tupperware. You know, I have this red, real deep red Tupperware bowl, and it is, um, you know, never one color, even though it's extremely opaque, because you always have light coming from one side, you have shadows, things like that. So just remember to do, a, you know, two, three colors. And there you can see I'm taking my sponge and I'm kind of cleaning it per se on my paper, uh, my, my uh, what do you call it, my trash paper, whatever, but that will never be trash paper. I'll use it in a mixed media uh, collage or something like that somewhere along the way. But after I did the leaves here and the flowers, then I'm, I, then I'm just going back and doing the flower part with a couple of different colors. Um, like, you know, my, the red and the fuchsia. But again, you can use all different colors and you'll see at the end, I did a, a variety of shades of gray and black, which was a lot of fun. And then this particular stencil is, I believe this one is, Yes, it's eight by eight. So it does span the width of my eight by 10 plate, but it doesn't span the length. And so all I did was lift it up to make another row of flowers. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm getting a variety of shades of greens and blues and just doing the leaf part. And then I will do the flower part with the different, the red and the fuchsia. Um, and you will see also at the end, I have some papers with um, pastels that my friend Sue Hiles uh, loaned me. And they're pan pastels, uh, same pan pastels. They're from Fun Stamper's Journey, I believe. But it was a collection of pastels. And as I keep working on this plate, I'm going to get a little bit of the print from previous uh, prints and because I don't clean my plate off. And I love the depth of that because the lighter ones look like they're in the background 
and uh, it's just it gives it so much dimension and flow and fun and so here again I'm just um, you know coloring in the flower part of the leaves and I could keep them all the same color if I wanted to but I wanted to give them a little bit of um, you know um, I don't know variability or whatever so I'm going to take my white paint and this is a really thin white paint and here's the mistake I made you really shouldn't use a ton of paint on your jelly plate for this technique so I was really light on the paint but after I brayered it on my plate I realized of course when I pulled up the first print that I probably didn't you didn't use enough paint so even though the plate was covered I probably should have used maybe about twice as much paint so you're gonna see when I pull this up what I mean however that said I still really like the print and the print is just um, you know it's real kind of grungy and incomplete but I will probably cover that up and use it on a card now this first piece I did not use yesterday I used a uh, Nina solar white and of course you have to drink your coffee while you're waiting for the print to kind of set on the paper but the one mistake the other mistake I made was I don't think that I left the paper on the jelly plate quite long enough and part of the reason was that I was trying to make this video uh, shorter and so I didn't let it set on the plate very long but you can see that's still really rich so because I could still see a lot of the pan pastel that I put on the plate I just went ahead and put more paint on so this time I put a layer on and then I'm going to add a little bit more uh, and I believe this was deco art white paint again you could use this would be really cool with a charcoal paint on it or probably even a black a black would make it a really subtle print um, because it would be darker colors on a darker color and this time I'm using regular printer paper um, I accidentally had a couple pieces on there so I, I took the top two pieces off but this is printer paper that I got from Costco. It's a little bit more substantial than your average printer paper, a little thicker. Uh, I can't tell you the weight exactly, but I love this printer paper. Um, so this time I decided to leave it on, the paper on the jelly plate, just a tad longer. And of course, again, I didn't pull up enough. So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna add more paint and I'm going to leave the paper on the jelly plate longer and then you'll see that I kind of cut out from the video again because I didn't want this video to be super long and I put um, I left the paper on for a longer period of time and I'm going to say maybe um, a minute so you probably should sing the Jeopardy song two or three times to yourself to time it because that's so much more interesting than setting your clock right or setting your alarm so this is going to sit on here for about a minute again i had an extra piece of paper on top i don't know why i did that uh, probably because i was filming for youtube so this is going to sit here for a minute and then i'm going to pull it off um here it comes and it is mm -hmm. just so, yummy i absolutely love it it is so subtle and uh, it's just so fun so that one is a little bit more abstract and then here's another print that i'm doing i did not clean my plate this is the next print with just more paint and look what happens this one stayed on a little bit longer and so it is just oh i love it it almost looks like pressed flowers and you can see again um, that i pulled up some of the pan pastel from the previous print and here again i'm not putting any more pan pastels on so, so far, I think I've had three or four prints by now, and I'm just going to see 
what I can pull up again. And so the worst thing is, if it doesn't work out, you don't like it, you have wasted one piece of paper, and you've wasted about, I don't know, 10, 12 drops of paint. Now, this is a thinner paint that I used yesterday as well. I used a little bit thicker paint yesterday. Um, but again, you just experiment, have fun with it, and you pull up a print, you don't like it, you can print over it, or you can throw it away if you want. So here I'm just, again, uh, this is probably the, the fourth or fifth print, and I haven't re-pan pastelled my jelly plate. And here are some samples of what I pulled off today and then a couple from yesterday. So I hope you enjoy them. And at the end, you'll see a link to my shop. And there I do have this flower and stem stencil in my Etsy shop. So please enjoy. Let me know if you liked this video. Um, click a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. And I will have some more videos later. Thank you so much for watching.